The gentleman from New Mexico is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the, the gentlelady says correctly that Native Americans are in dire need of housing. It's one reason that I'm going to carry the Nahasda bill, because we understand and agree with that. Um, the question then that came up with the original language, uh, the, the original language was prejudicial. The, the chairman accepted the amendment that took out the prejudice. Therefore, then we're left with just a consideration of, of the programs. And I will tell you that in my speech yesterday to the Nahasda conference, I said that uh, I'll fight to get out the, uh, the prejudicial language, but uh, we are uh, going to look at the efficiencies of your programs. And, and I found an engagement in that. The Native Americans at that conference are saying we're glad to, to be looked at. Uh, we welcome it because many of the Native American groups have become much more efficient. They themselves uh, don't want the programs to look like they're not functioning correctly. And so I, I found strong, strong desire in the Native American communities to, to open up the programs for consideration. And, and so I would uh, think that, that this, this language as it's amendment, as amended is, is exactly the process that we would want to go t through and one that, uh, that the Indian tribes would, would uh, welcome. Well, they, will the gentleman yield? Yes, I'll, I'll be happy. Thank, thank you so much, Mr. Pierce. And, and, you know, I have 11 native nations uh, in Wisconsin, and I know that you represent uh, the Navajo, and, and I think that the unobligated funds are largely due to the large Navajo nation, the glitches that they've run into, uh, folk that you represent, that has really created this, this sort of problem. So I am soliciting at this time your support, um, you know, if th this amendment and the corrections that you have made, soliciting your support at this time on the stuff that's on page 20, and I believe that you may have an amendment there uh, as well, yes, to cut it out of the proposed cut section, because you know the Navajo Nation would disproportionately suffer um, were that language, were that prejudice to be entered into the record the, under yes, proposed Yes, reclaiming my time, I would say that the prejudice uh, in, in this section has been removed. It's now just a simple look at it, evaluate it, which I think is the function of, of Congress in this committee. Uh, I do have language that then addresses I don't withdraw the entire thing because even in, in uh, section 20, we pull out uh, the, the language that says we're going to cut that, but we're going to review and, and take a look at where the problems are arising. Uh, the rest of the, the Native American groups would like to be, uh, would, would like to know that also. And so uh, we do have amendments in 20 and, and we'll be glad to, uh, to look at what you suggest there, but uh, we'll offer our amendment. I well, would yield back. Well, well you yield. Oh, I'm sorry. You've yielded back. The gentleman has yielded back. Any other members wish to be heard? Are there any amendments to the amendment? If not, the question is on agreeing uh, to the amendment of the gentlelady from Wisconsin. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say nay. Nay. In the opinion of the chair, the nays appear to have it. The nays have it. And the well, amendment Mr. Is Chairman, not agreed to I, I would ask for a roll call. A recorded vote has been requested. Those in favor of a recorded vote will raise their hand and be counted. In this case, the chairman sees very clearly that a sufficient number having raised their hands, a recorded vote is ordered. Pursuant to Section C5 of Rule 3 of the committee rules, the vote on this question is postponed.